Hey everybody, it's Murphy Gray Hunter. It is Saturday, December 3rd. Um, and you know, I had so many plans for today. I was gonna go out, I was gonna go to Bath and Body, I was gonna go, cause they have a great candle cell. And I wanted to go get some candles. And um, I wanted to go um, to another shop to go get some, some supplies to the Botanica. But it is cold and it's rainy and I don't feel like doing anything. So, um, what I wanted to do is make a video showing the books that I bought yesterday. Um, I went, uh, yesterday, um, Jade and I went um, book shopping because she wants, my eight year old wants to read the Stephen King book, It. Um, she really likes scary movies and she really loves to read horror stories. She's very into horror stories now. And so I'm like, are you sure you want to read that book? That's a pretty big book. And so I don't have that one. I have a lot of Stephen King books, but I don't have that one. And so anyway, we tried to find it. We couldn't find it. And so, but she did find some other books that she wanted to read. And so I was at Half Price Books. I picked up some books. Now you guys know how much I love Half Price Books. Um, if y'all don't have a Half Price Books, oh my God, y'all really, really need to Google it and see if y'all have one in the area that you live in. And um, if not, you can get on the website. You can get on the website and um, um, they have, you know, you can get books on the, on the website is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let me show you the books that I got. A lot of these were, uh, no, Half Price Books um, is a used bookstore, but a lot of the books are brand new. Um, so let me show you the books that I got. The first book I got for $12.99 is this book on Goetta. Um, I, um, I am really fascinated, um, by, um, uh, reading and learning about demons, um, and, uh, learning everything I can about them. Doesn't mean that I want to work with demons. Um, I have no plans on working with demons, but, um, I do find it fascinating. And I think that if you, um, are, um, a practicing witch and you are, um, well, for myself that I'm eclectic, um, I like to learn and read about everything. And that includes different religions and magical paths and cultures and, um, anyway, so, Goetia. And, um, I have not looked into this book yet, but it looks very, very good. Um, looks like a great book. I did see a, um... I did see a book review on this online, so I want to I want to check that out. But these have a lot of the same drawings that are on my Demon Tarot set. Anyway, and this has a lot of seals and blah blah blah. So um, I am very careful with um, you know, uh, like I said, I don't plan on working with demons. My grandmother used to work with demons, and so it's really fascinating to know that. Um, that was in our, our family line, but that doesn't mean that's where I want to take it. Um, I know it's just like when people, um, have snakes for pets or, or, or dangerous animals for pets. You have to remember that they can be dangerous and they can harm you. And, um, invoking demons, working with demons is nothing that I ever want to attempt, but that doesn't mean that I don't like to read about them. So I got this for $12.99. And this is a brand new book. Um, some of these I took the price tags off because um, I wanted to see the whole title. This one I got for $2. This is a home medicine guide. And this just has a lot of, um, this has a lot of holistic approach on uh, medicine. You know, you know, or well, maybe you don't know. I love home remedy books. I love doing my own home remedies. Um, just because I'm a nurse doesn't mean that I like taking medicine because I don't. But this has um, this has information on castor oil, uh, scar removers, arthritis massage, inhalants, baldness treatment, cough medicines, laxatives, tonics, muscle rubs, cosmetics, nausea formulas, and vitamins, and so on and so on. Not bad for two dollars, right? <clears throat> Okay. The next one I got is Spiritual House Cleaning. 
This is a brand new book. That one was used. This one's brand new. Um, this one um, just talks about um, <coughs> this one just talks about um, you know what? I don't know because I haven't really looked at it. But this has, oh, table of contents. Um, spiritual house clean, uh, cleaning principles. I always want to say cleansing because that's what I do, but this, this one is house cleaning. Um, it has stories and applications. Anyway, I don't know enough about this. I haven't, I haven't looked through it. I just got these yesterday. This one I'm really interested in reading. This one is haunted objects, stories of ghosts on your shelf. This is, um, can objects, objects really be haunted? And yes, they can. My, um, my daughter had a personal experience. One of my older daughters had a personal experience with a haunted, um, object. It was a box, a box that she got from, um, Goodwill and it was haunted. Um, anyway, oh, sorry guys, my head is itching. Um, so this has like, um, short stories of people discussing um their haunted objects like this one talks about the ha her haunted doll um claire the doll uh, um there's more oh i've heard about this doll here this one um this is another um haunted doll uh, look at that face i've seen it um i've seen this on youtube and i was i was interested in haunted objects and um but this looks really really interesting um this has a i love short stories number one like stephen king's short stories are amazing um but i love short stories of haunted things and so i can't wait to read this this is going to be a very interesting read and i got this for three dollars the next one i got was was really really i was really happy to find this one the conjurer's guide of saint expedite um, I got this for $4.99, and the reason I was so excited to find this is because in um, <clears throat> in our coven, um, I have been teaching about working with saints and psalms and um, uh, archangels and their seals. Um, and so, um, Saint Expedite is one that we were discussing because um, Saint Expedite you can use for prosperity, money, um, you know, mostly a lot of people use him for money. Um, and, um, I have a book like this on Archangel Michael, which I use a lot of, um, but, um, I shouldn't say I use a lot of Archangel Michael because my go-to is La Santisma Muerte. That's the one that I, I love to use her. But anyway, um, I love to use, uh, to ask for her assistance. Maybe that's a better way to say not use. Uh, but anyway, this has a bunch of information on St. Expedite. Um, you know, of course, the background and the origins of St. Expedite, which is really important when you're working with saints or any deity or, or patron or god or goddess. I always feel that you really should know the background and the origins of the um, your higher power that you're asking in aid. Um, and this also has um, how to work with St. Expedite, how to set up an altar for him, um, all the corresponding things um, with him. Um, and, um, conjurings, like spells that you can use and prayers. So that was a really good find for, um, for five bucks. And it has a lot of photos and information. So the next one I got is your house haunted. This is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> this was a used book. And when I looked in there, I saw someone's, um, plain, I guess the receipt part of a plane ticket in there. Anyway, so this one, um, this one is a used book, and this one was $2. Um, <clears throat> this one talks about, um, um, is, uh, is your house haunted? Uh, a brief history on ghosts. Uh, what kind of haunting can it be? The types of ghosts. How you can talk to your children about ghosts. Um, gathering proof. Research of the past, um, answers of frequently asked questions about the paranormal. Um, what is a person to do or not to do, as the case may be. Um, 
when and where to get help and the bottom line. So this is amazing. I was kind of figuring through this last night and um, this is really cool because it talks about like when you when you have uh, when you feel hot and cold spots when you smell um, um, when you when you come across a smell or an odor um, it talks about poltergeist and this looks like a very very interesting read so that was a good buy for two bucks this other one I'm super super excited about I pay $7.99 for this one this is a Condra cookbook making magic with oils incense powders and baths I'm super excited about this book you know Barnes and Noble I mean Barnes and Noble half price books you'll just come across books like that that you're like well, what the heck are you doing here you know <clears throat> and so it was so funny because when I was looking through the books I saw this book on um, getting your power or something like that and um, I looked through it and it was just a um, a woman showing you power moves on how to like you know choke somebody or something I'm like why would they put this here anyway probably go to the title or something Anyway, this has a lot of... Now, this um, is more um, hoodoo, I believe. has a lot of different recipes. Um, and so, um, this is really cool. Um, I love, you know, that uh, green hoodoo and root book by Catherine um, Ironwood. That is my absolute favorite book. Um, and this one seems like it's going to be a, a fantastic book as well to add to my collection. So I can't wait to start reading this. Um, this is just full of information. That was a good find. This one was um, $2.99. It's a book of magic spells. Just a little bitty book. And really, that's all this book is. It's just, bam, spells. So I got that. Then I got this one for $4.99, a book on Yule. Um, you know, um, I was not one on buying books on the Sabbaths. But I have started buying those books, and I cannot remember the author's name. I can see it, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's a little books. They come in a series. And, you know, you have one for Samhain and Maybon and Yule and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I wanted to collect all those. I have two of those, and I want to collect all of them because you guys know how I like to collect all the series of books. But I do have a lot of book, books on Samhain, and I have one on Maybon. And so I decided to go ahead and get this for five dollars and go ahead and add it to my collection because um, this week in our coven we're going to be learning about um, Yule. Um, all the the background on Yule, you know, the the um, history of Yule, um, why we celebrate it, uh, also with winter solstice. Um, we're going to learn about, you know, crafts and recipes and if you're going to do an altar, you know, to represent Yule and all the corresponding things with it. So this was really nice to have. And the last thing I bought there was this, um, The World of Fairies. This is 20 Fine Arts. Uh, and they are, these are blank cards and these were $2. You know, I love fairies. All these cards come in there. Or came in there, I should say that. All those cards and they're all um blank inside for two dollars that was a great find i'll just show y'all one so they come like this i love greeting cards i really love greeting i love greeting cards i love receiving cards um <clears throat> i love cards and um you know handwritten letters and things like that um, I know this is off topic, but last year for my um, anniversary, my, mine and my husband's anniversary, um, you know, he wrote me um, a handwritten love letter. Oh my gosh. I was, he got me some flowers, some beautiful flowers. Now, I love sunflowers and yellow roses. Those are my favorite. But my husband feels that um, red roses are, signify love and signify how he feels for me right so he always buys me red roses and you know I love flowers all together so I'm very grateful for whatever but um I always tell him how come you don't ever give me sunflowers they're so pretty he's like I think they're so ugly so I don't know they just don't represent because those are okay just to bring home just to have he says but for special occasions like our anniversary you know I think that you know red roses are are you know best so anyway I was just like, whatever, you know, um, and he gives me yellow roses and all that. But for him, love represents red roses. So um, this last year, he gave me a big bouquet of yellow roses. 
and sunflowers. And I was like, oh my gosh. I said, I was so grateful. And then he gave me this, because he knows I love cards. All the cards he gets me, I put them up here. I love cards because it takes so much um, thought behind it to go pick a card and read it. And, you know, and all, every card is so perfect. And um, so, uh, and I don't just love them from my husband. I love cards from anyone or letters from anyone. Um, and, um, uh, nobody does snail mail no more. You know, everybody's all about texting and stuff. I love snail mail. Um, but, um, yeah, he gave me, I opened it up and I thought it was going to be a card and it was a handwritten letter, like four pages of handwritten love letter. I was so taken back. I'm just like, it was like the best gift ever. I told him this has been the best gift you have ever given me. And he's like. You mean all the designer bags and diamond rings and because he's given me some jewelry, a lot of jewelry and designer bags and, you know, I'm just like, no, this is the best gift. I just, I love, I love things like that. So anyway, not that that had anything to do with my book haul, but um, that's all that I got um, from the bookstore. And I'll go ahead and show you what I got also from... Um, Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby for one thing. Y'all know that didn't happen. Okay, so really all I, well, you know what? That takes it back. Well, I was looking at washi tapes and I wanted gold and aqua. That's all I wanted. But they didn't have just gold and, and, and aqua. They had, you, you had to buy all this. And I probably would have found if I went to Target. But the problem is, if I go to Target, I'm going to come out of there with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just like, I will use all these because I use washi tape. And you, you guys know I'm a planner. I love working in my planner. In fact, today I'm going to do some Christmas stuff in my planner. So I'm going to use these. And these are all so pretty. They're all so sparkly. Anyway, this was $19.99, but it was 20% um, uh, off. Then, I'll show you those in a minute. I got three. Um... I use these also for my planner and so I got this one and if I pull out my planner and I show you what I'm talking about I'm just, this is gonna go somewhere else so we'll just leave it at that if y'all want to know what how I decorate my planner look on my other videos candy canes you know and these were okay you know I was really disappointed in the Christmas paper they had. Now they had like a whole booklet, like a whole pack of scrapbook paper, but I don't need like a whole, now I buy those for like for Halloween and um, butterflies, so I love all the butterflies and stuff. But for Christmas, so anyway, I just bought those. Then I bought, um, I bought some paint for Jade, which she's already using. Um, and I got her a um, two canvases and she has them over there, already painted on them. And then she got um, a, uh, a sketchbook from Half Price Books with, um, it kind of reminds me of the, the photo of uh, Van Gogh with the starlight. Um, that's what that reminds me of. But anyway, I got her a sketchbook because she loves to draw. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's all I got for her. The rest were stickers. Oh my gosh, this was two forty nine. Look at these cute, stickers oh my gosh look at look how adorable she is oh my gosh I'm just, look at that look at, oh look how cute oh my god I have an illness I love stickers I got this for a project that I'm doing I got these for my planner you know my where I write my to do's and put them in my planner you guys don't plan oh my gosh y'all are missing out I got these And yes, I use these all. Okay, y'all know my monstrosity of my sticker book. Oh my gosh, if y'all have not and you want to see what my sticker book looks like, scroll down and find my video that says sticker book. It is a hot mess. But I am going to find another, another, um, another way to, to store them. I got some letters. Some more letters. I have a project with these. More letters. And then this one. Look how super cute. I'll put it behind my shirt. 
Can y'all see that? No. Anyway, I use these on the borders of my of my planner. Some more of these. Look how cute these stickers are. Yes, I use them all. Before you sit there and go, do you even use all those stickers, Murphy? Yes, I do. I have an illness. It's called, I love stickers and planning stuff. It's not just stickers, it's stickers and watch. It's everything for planners. You know, um, some people buy, that's all the stickers I got. Some people, oh, and I bought these, but I'm not happy with them. I bought these markers. These suck ass, okay? They're not even like dark or anything. They're just like, maybe that or my blind ass can't see them, but they're just, I'm not happy with those. Anyway, so I'm stuck with them. So, um, but no, you know, some people like those adult coloring books. I don't understand why people like those because they are, there's so many spaces like you color one and I, so I got one I was a little kitty one and I was like oh kitty and I'm coloring I color like I don't know it seems like I've been coloring forever and then I look up and I got a billion more spots to color that is not stress relieving that is stressful it gives me anxiety I'm like oh so give me one of those baby color books that have those giant hello kitty heads and a big old bow and like four spots to color and we're done mm -mm. For me, decorating my planner and working in my planner is a very great stress reliever for me. You guys can have the adult color and stuff. It is not for me. My hand starts cramping up and I'm just like, oh God, no, I can't do this. Anyway, all right guys, so that was my book haul and my Michael's haul. So um, I plan on spending the rest of the day here at home. It is cold, it is rainy outside. Um, all my plans got canceled for today because I didn't want to do nothing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing nothing. So um, put my pajama pants on and my fuzzy socks and got me a cup of tea. And uh, so I plan on um, reading the right books, making videos, and um, working in my planner and working in my book of shadows. That's what I plan on doing today. All right, guys. As always, love you all. Blessed be. Bye.